Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Elan Creative. I'm Christina and today I want to show you how to turn your block prints into seamless patterns using Adobe Photoshop. The first step is to scan your images or take a photo. After that, open them in Adobe Photoshop. You can use this method for everything, starting from block printing to your ink sketches or watercolors. These beautiful block printed flowers were made by Daniel Broder from The Recovery. Daniel is an illustrator and block printer from California and if you want to learn more about block printing, you can take her free class by signing up using the link in the description box. First we are going to clean the photo and then we are going to create a seamless pattern. So I want to unlock this layer by clicking on the padlock and then I am going to drag it to the add new layer button. This will create a copy of the background layer and then I'm going to lock it and make it invisible. I usually like to work on a copy of the layer just so I have the original photo. This flower was block printed on a fabric and because I don't want to use this background for the seamless pattern I am going to go to image adjustments level and try to change the level of white. I'm going to do that by dragging the arrow from the right corner to almost the middle until the background is white or almost white because we still have some textures left. Then I'm going to take the arrow that is responsible for the level of black and drag it to the right. As you can see, as I do that, the color of the flower changes, so I don't want this to become black. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And there's also an arrow for the level of gray that you can move. I think I love how it looks right now. And after that, I'm going to press OK to save it. I'm going to go again to image adjustments and this time to brightness contrast. And I am just going to brighten it a little bit more and we can also change the contrast. Let's leave it like this and then press OK to save it. I want to use the flower in the middle for the seamless pattern. So for that, I am going to select it and then create a copy of it and delete the rest of the image. And for this tutorial, I am going to use the lasso tool. The shortcut is L. If you can't see it, just open the toolbar and you can choose that. So now I'm going to zoom in and then select the flower. Once the flower is selected and you can see the marching ends, just right click on the image and then you can create a layer via copy. And because I don't need the rest of the image, I am going to make this layer invisible. Now that I have my pattern motif, the next thing I want to do is to remove the white background. I'm going to do that by going to the layers panel and right clicking on the image layer. And I am going to open blending options. With the blending option style selected, I'm going to go to the blend if gray panel and I am going to hold down the alt or option key and then click on the arrow on the right side. And as I drag the arrow to the left, you can see that the white background disappears. It's actually transparent right now. And if you go all the way to the left, you are also going to lose details from the illustration, so you don't have to move it that much. Once you can't see the white background, just click OK to save the change. Next, I want to add a background to the image just to make sure that everything looks great. So. I am going to create a new layer and then using the paint bucket tool, I'm going to make the background white. And as you can see, I still have a bit of texture, so I am going to use the eraser tool to delete this. So I'm going to select the illustration layer and then delete what I don't need.
When you are happy with your image, it's time to make the seamless pattern. So go to File, New, and I am going to create a new canvas that's 6 by 6 inches in pixels that's 1800 pixels. I'm using 300 pixel per inch resolution and the color mode RGB. Let's call it block print pattern and click create. Now uh, what I want to do is to drag my illustration from the photo to my pattern layer and I want to resize it so I'm going to press Control T and I think I'm going to make it half the size, 50% or let's make it 60. Okay, I think that's good and I am going to use the move tool and try to center it if you have the smart guides on, you will feel it snapping into place where when it's in the center of your canvas. If your smart guides are not on, you can go to Views, Show, and then select Smart Guides and also make sure that Snap and Snap 2 are selected. Now I'm going to make a copy of my illustration. I'm just going to drag the flower layer to the add new layer button and that way I will have another copy. And now it's time to make the seamless pattern. So as you know, this option in Photoshop is to make sure the layer is selected and then go to filter, other and offset. Make sure wrap around is checked. And now what you have to do is to enter in the horizontal box half of the width of your canvas. So as you remember, mine is 1800 pixels. So I have 900 here. And for the vertical half of the height of your canvas, so again, 900. And uh, if the preview button is checked, you will actually see what happens. So as you can see, the flower was split into four pieces and moved to the corner of the canvas and then click OK to save it. So now we have two layers and if you want, you can select both layers and right click on them and merge layers. So you only have one. And I think I want to use a different background color. Let's see, maybe a darker gray and using the paint bucket tool, I'm going to fill the layer. At this point, we have a seamless pattern tile and if you want, you can save it as a JPEG or you can also save it as a Photoshop pattern. You can do that by going to edit, define pattern and you can give it a new name if you want and click OK to save. Now let's test the pattern to see how it looks. So go to File, New again. And this time I'm going to create the pattern that's 12 by 12 inch, um, 300 resolution and RBG color mode and click Create. So to test it, let's create a new layer and just go to Edit and Fill and you can select the pattern from the custom pattern options and click on it to fill the layer. And it worked. We now have a seamless block printed pattern. One more thing I want to show you is how to change the color of your block printed pattern. So go back to your original illustration and create a copy of your pattern. Now I want to remove this color, so I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and I am going to select Black and White. You can also use Alt, Shift, Ctrl and B to remove the color. And as you can see, the image is black and white, so I'm going to press OK to save it. And then I'm going to add a solid color layer above it. So you can do that from the bottom of the layers panel, uh, where you have the Create New Fill or Adjustment layer option, and then choose Solid Color. And you can use the Color Picker or you can use one of your color swatches. And I want to use blue for it. 
think I like this one. And the last thing you have to do is to change the blending mode. So you can, I usually use overlay for this, but you can test all of them. Actually, soft light looks really good. Uh, you can test all of them and see which one you like. And uh, some of them will also color your background. So if you don't want to do that, you can right click on the layer and then create clip and mask. This way the background will stay the same. And if you want to save this one as a pattern as well, go to edit and uh, define pattern and let's call it block print too and then click OK to save it. And let's test this one again. I'm going to create a new layer and I am going to go to edit, fill, and from the custom pattern option, I'm going to select the blue pattern and then click OK to fill the layer. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to check out Danielle's blog for more block printing tutorials. Thanks for watching.